Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Markeisha Tanoy. Um, if you're new to the channel, thanks so much for watching and please subscribe. Um, I have a really quick video on some pink e colors I decided to use. Um, I just kind of made this up as I was shooting. I just woke up early um, before work and I decided like I'm just going to shoot this. So here it is. I hope you guys like it. Hey guys, so I'm um, starting off with my e.l.f. Cosmetics blush. I just wanted to show you. And then I'm going in with Cherry Cola. Um, this is from Makeup Geek. So first I started off um, just priming my lid a little bit with Coco Bear, but I did that before the video came on. So um, so I put, I'm putting Coco Bear right there on the lid. And then I'm going in with a little bit of Cherry Cola. And these, like I said, are both from Makeup Geek. So I'm just going in and, you know, the same windshield wiper motions, just back and forth, basically on top of my eyeball. <laughs> um, so then I'm just going in to get more product. This, once again, is the Cherry Cola. And I'm just going back and forth, but I'm focusing the color on the outer edge, I guess. Um, yeah, so just keep blending. Then I'm going in with the color Rosewood, which is that pretty purplish color. This is from Morphe Brushes. It's um, like one of their single palette colors or whatever. But yeah, so I'm going in with the color Rosewood. And if you can see, I switched brushes. I had like a flat brush that was kind of like an eyeshadow brush. And I used that just to apply the color because I wanted it to be really defined in the outer crease. Then I go in and with the fluffy color. So I'm going back in with Rosewood and I'm using that same um, like shader fluffy brush. And once I apply the color, it's, I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say, it's on like perfectly in like a straight line. It's like precise. But then I go in with like a shader brush to kind of like blend it just a little bit to make it less um, neat, I guess. I don't know. So then I'm going in with Redhead. This too is from the Morphe brushes. Um, this is another single color. I did um, a review on these, I guess swatches on these in my um, Fame Expo video. I'll link that below. So now I'm going in with my e.l.f. and this is just their uh, blush palette. This is the number two. I believe there's a lighter version. But yeah, I'm just using um, that pretty pale pink as a pink on my eyelid and I'm just really getting in there. So now I'm going in with Couture. Once again, this is from e.l.f. I'm sorry, it is not from e.l.f. It's from Morphe. And then I'm just kind of, um, I get a pencil brush and I'm kind of smoking out the bottom of my lash line just to give, um, to bring all the purples together because I wanted this to be like a mauve look. So I wanted it to all tie together. I didn't want to use like black, but I didn't want to use a light color either. So this like super plum, color is perfect. So then I'm going in with my Sephora foundation. That is not foundation, just kidding. That is mascara. And then I go in to put on my lashes. These lashes I got from um, eBay. They were like maybe $2. I literally just typed in, um, I think I typed in like Chinese eyelash eyelashes or strip lashes or something and those came up. And those are perfect. So yeah, once I'm done putting that on, I'm going totally crazy and I'm using Colored Rain Bachelorette and I am going to use this as a wing liner. Um, I saw someone do this before with something and I was like, you know what, that's kind of a cool idea so I'm going to try it. So I tried it, I loved it, I will definitely do it again, especially because um, I have so many pretty colors of I um, of lip glosses and lipsticks and there's so many nudes and I think those colors are pretty especially if you're going for like something I guess like a pop color but anyway so um, yeah I'm just fixing my liner and then I'm going in with my um, LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn I already put my foundation on off camera I try I'm trying to speed these steps up because I feel like I do the same exact thing like my foundation my highlight my contour and I just don't want to bore you guys so um, yeah so I tried to speed that up so once I'm done blending all this in I then go in with my concoction that I mix which is Sasha Buttercup 
and Benai Camel Powder. And I just put them on the same exact areas that I put on my um, blush, I'm sorry, my concealer. So then I'm going in with that dark color and that was from the Morphe 35P palette. And I'm just sculpting out my cheeks a little bit. Please don't mind my mouth from moving. I'm on the phone with my mom right now. And yeah, we're talking. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm using this just to kind of sculpt out my cheeks just for like the contour. I like to contour with like an ash color, but then I like to warm it back up with um, something a little more reddish undertone just to give my color, my face some color and warmth again. And that is CoverGirl Ebony Bronze. And I just go literally on top of the same spot that I went with the contour color. So I just put that on my jawline, right under my cheekbones, and then sometimes on like my forehead area. And then, um, well, I'm putting more. <laughs> and then once I'm done, I dust all that powder off that was setting under my face. And um, I just make sure I dust it off pretty good. And then just blend it all in. Um, I like using, letting it sit for a while because I have such oily skin and it kind of soaks up some of the oil too. So now I'm just going in with that same e.l.f. blush and I am using it on my cheeks as blush, what it was made for. So um, I started off putting a little and then you guys know me, I went drag and kept putting more and more. Um, but it doesn't look bad, so yeah. So I put on some um, blush and then I go in, um, Actually, this video killed me because one, once I was done doing everything, I realized I did not highlight my face. And I was like, oh my gosh, my face looks so weird. And I didn't notice that till after I shot the video. So once I was done, I did go back in and put some highlight on. Um, but yeah, and I used the Anastasia um, Sun Dipped Kit. So then I put that same Bachelorette, the same thing I used as a liquid liner on my eyes. I just use that as my actual lipstick, what it was made for. And there you have it. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys have any questions, comment below. Love you.